Hello! Thank you for coming to this video today, guys. I really appreciate it. This is my new channel, Big Pay Clips. Uh, I really need support support on this channel. It's very new, and YouTube is harsh to new channels. So if you guys want to support this channel, the best thing you can do is subscribe to it, turn on the notification bell, leave a like on the video, and also comment down below. Maybe even just a thumbs up. It would really help the channel. Uh, I do want to grow this channel. This is going to be specifically clips from the Cardano Aura podcast. The link for that will be down below. And then some other things I want to do, just some other creative of ideas that I have, right? Uh, and the, if you want to support the channel financially, the best way you can do so is delegating to my pools. I have Bloom and Bloom 2. Both pools have a 2.5 million pledge, and we are delegated uh, by 3,000 different delegates in the Cardano ecosystem. So that shows you that a lot of other people um, believe in Bloom, um, and I do personally. I delegate all my ADA to Bloom. Um, another way you can help me without ADA, a free way to do it, and you also get to block ads on this video that you're watching today is you, you download the Brave browser. What the Brave browser does is it actually blocks ads and it blocks the trackers within those ads, and those trackers track your location, getting your IP address, and they use that and actually sell it to other people to help pay for those ads. So if you want to stop that, all you do is you download the Brave browser from the link down below. It uses Chrome, so you can bring over all your Chrome stuff, and you actually get paid for paid in cryptocurrency for using the browser. As you can see right here, I have 3.5 bat, and you can actually go to websites that you like and send it to those websites. Look, so you can send one tip. There you go. But yeah, let's jump into the video. Appreciate it. Make sure you guys hit that like button if you're enjoying it so far. All right. So hopefully you guys can see my screen now. Yep, looks good. Okay, great. Um, yeah, so at the bottom of the pool tool page, you'll get the links to the mobile app. Uh, you can get it on the Google Play or the App Store. And um, and yeah, so th that app that app has uh, been. And I'll get to that a little bit later. But that app's been a wonderful addition to the to the platform. There's just so many s things that we can do with Pool Tool now that we have an app, and to combine the information together and make it a more fluid, you know, a fluid interaction with everybody. So yeah, anyway, so back back on the top. Um, so as far as rewards go, this is probably one of the most uh, overlooked things that I've that I've seen in the community so far. People are um, unsure where to get the reward information. They're frustrated with the data list right now. And I expect that to change eventually. I mean, I think, you know, IOTK knows this is an important feature to have. And, and, and so eventually it should be in the wallets. But for now, kind of the only way you can really get the detailed information you need is to use our, our reward tracking feature. So um, what you do is you'll basically go into uh, your wallet. And I pulled up a page here. I can just show this to you real quick. Let's see. So your wallet. Your wallet has these addresses in here. And you'll just copy any one of these addresses out. And you can drop it into the app. So let's see. I'll copy that one. And then that is going to do a search for your staking key. Your staking key is a hexadecimal number. And so it's going to, if it finds one, it's going to pull up that staking key and you can go directly into that address and you can see the details. So if you didn't you know, know about this already, this is the first step is you can get all of your history for uh, who you staked with, uh, the active stake during that particular epoch, and then what your rewards are. And if you're operator, we'll show you what your operator rewards are as well. That's the awesome, we man. <laughs> Thanks. It Peyton. really is. <laughs> uh, the other thing that we do is we will track the prices in anything you want, any currency you want. And these these prices are tracked on the day that the reward was sent to you. So this is all about tax implications associated with rewards. And there's there's two ways to, to treat this that I know of. Number one is you can uh, have it taxed on the, the day you receive the reward in your wallet. Uh, and the other one is you could have it taxed the day that you actually capture the rewards you know, and so they're not just a, a, an empty UTXO. Um, so either way, as long as long as we have the information in here to track it to some value, and these are all kind of zeros because it's a very low amount in this particular wallet, um, you can always go back and get that information for your tax reporting at the end of the year. So that's the goal with this. Um, the other thing I should mention is that for pool operators, the the rewards tracking is very interesting if you have multiple pools feeding into the same location. So I saw one this morning for Clio, so I'll just pull up that one. This is my good friend, Marcus. 
So on this reward account, for example, he has a bunch of rewards feeding in from, from various stake he has, uh, feeding into the same reward address. And what we allow you to do is go into the details for that. And so if you have one reward address for multiple you know, stake or pools, uh, you can see exactly what amounts came into your reward address from each of those locations. That's awesome. Yeah, I just, I think a lot of people watching this are going to see how useful this is too, because I mean, I have people message me that don't understand what happens when you change your stake from one pool to another. And they're curious of whether the rewards they received were even from my pool or from the different pool that they were at prior. And, and I had someone recently message me and say that they only received like 0.0 something ADA for a hundred thousand stake. And I'm like, the only way that you would receive that little is if you were with a smaller pool that had probably less than a million or two, uh, because yeah. that 340 per epoch probably killed it. Um, and I said, yeah. just, just wait till next week. Uh, you'll probably get around probably 70 or 80 ADA. And, and it was right, you know, but it would be awesome. Or we, you can now on poolsol.io yeah. to check this out, to see exactly uh, what's happening per thing, you know? So a good way base, a good way also to find your staking address. You don't have to go through that search feature. You can also just go to the pool that you're staking with mm -hmm. or that you have staked with. And just, if you know the amount that you stake, you just go find the amount in here uh, and you can then go directly to the address that way as well. Yeah. So here's a nice whale you've had. Who's been very consistent with you. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. It, it'll be yeah. hard to do it that way with 2000 different people though. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's easiest to search. Yeah, just use the um, address function and data list your ROI. So, and then once you do have it in there, the other thing you can do is you can tie your staking address into your Pegasus app as well. And you can get alerts uh, through your Pegasus app or the pool tool app. So yeah. I'll show you how to do that as well. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going to be interested in that because I'm more of a, a web guy myself, you know, but a lot of people still do or not still do, but they're now using uh, mobile apps, you know, to get their data. So I think this will be really useful. Let's see. All right, so we'll pull up the pool tool app in here. All right, so if you haven't seen this, again, you can download it on all the app stores. It's been available. Um, Gabor, who's been doing this, also known as Mask, he's been doing this also since the ITN days, since really early on. He was uh, the first app that was out there. Yeah. And him and I have talked uh, on and off for a very long time about working together on things. And so I'm glad that uh, we finally were able to put something together. We're coming back to the, the, the thing in question right now is how do we get it uh, into, the, into the Pegasus app? So there is this button at the very bottom, which is called Rewards, and it allows you to um, add a new rewards address in here. So it's, you can give your rewards address a name. So let's just call this, um, this is some bloom whale. Bloom whale. <laughs> Bloomy hail. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. And then uh, you can either type in your address or you can use this thing to just scan that QR code. Oh, that's really cool. So, yeah. And so now that's in here uh, and it's and it's saved in the Pegasus app. So it shows you rewards, uh, but not only that, you can also get alerts on this. So once it's in, in here, you're going to get a notification on your phone about all the rewards that come in and when they come in, how much they're for. So just every every five days, you're going to be getting a new notification? Yeah. That's cool. So it will actually yeah. save that as like mm -hmm. kind of your accounts. Okay. Yeah. That's really useful. So this is now saved and you can have as many uh, rewards address tracked in here as you want. Uh, and you can just decide to turn on and off alerts for them and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and so you can also save pools and you can get alerts on different pools as well. So you can go into the information page and it will show you the details about the pool. And, you know, block production, of course, set up those alerts. So you can see fee changes, saturation changes, or new blocks. So I'm, I'm finally getting to the point where I'm turning off my new block notices because <laughs> I, have, I have all the bots set up to send me new block notices. And of course, the Pegasus app does too. So when I, when yeah. I generate a block on my pool, I go, everything goes ding, ding. Yeah, ding. four notifications. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's one too many. So that's how that works. Um, any questions about that, Pete? Um, so are you guys going to integrate this account system um, into the app and then also into the website so you have the ability to notify the delegators whether they're on each and uh, will it be the same process to actually notify the delegators on both? Will it be linked together? 
Yeah, so so right now we do the pool tool bot, which you can sign up for on the front page of pool tool. Um, that's our kind of notification center. And you, you and that links here and, and that links through uh, Telegram, right? Yeah. And that links through Telegram, exactly.